Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about lot of doubt students are asking about the Comet K fees payment. If they get the upgrade or they get the college with low fees, what happens? Do they have to pay two times, etc. So this is the clarification video. So if you see the total fees in Comet K varies by college and course. There is no single fees which is applied for all the college or course. So in the Comet K seat matrix, you can see what will be your total fees based on what course and what college you select so if you what you see there is a total fees is equal to tuition fees plus other fees that is what is shown in the comet k seat matrix per year so the next question is what is not included in the total fees which is shown in the comet k seat matrix skill lab fees is not included so there are actually two college level fees. Those are called college level fees. And there are two college level fees which is not included in the seat matrix. First is the skill lab fees. Every college is going to charge a special skill lab facilities. And they will charge either 10,000, 15,000 or 10, 20,000 based on whatever approval they have got from VTU. This is additional and over what is shown in the commit case seat matrix. What is the second charge? Second is the university fees, VTU fees, right? Which VTU does a lot of administrative work for every college. So they charge around 11,000 rupees per year as VTU charges. Every, every college in Karnataka which is affiliated to VTU is supposed to give this fee. So you will also get 11,000 rupees every year. You have to pay to VTU once you are in college. So hope the fee structure is now known to you. Now there are many options when you move from one round of counseling to other. You can do accept and upgrade. Then you have to pay some fees right to go into the next round. Or even if you do reject and upgrade you are supposed to fees, pay fees. So what happens if you have paid the fees against accept and upgrade and or reject and upgrade. And if you get a different seat in the next round what happens to your fees do you have to pay two times so now this is the answer if you get if you have already paid the fees in the previous round assuming you have paid some fees in the previous round if the new seat you got has higher fees right you get a new seat with higher fees then you have to pay only the difference when making a new decision you don't have to pay two times hope it is clear you don't need to pay two times you only have to pay the difference of the fees. What if the new seat has a lower fees? Now this is the second scenario where you have paid the particular fees but the new seat has a lower fees. So the excess amount which will is there will be refunded by Comedic Authority to you after the completion of the entire counseling process. So hope it is clear you don't need to pay twice. Only extra amount either you will pay or comedy authority is going to refund to you so those are two scenarios so this is my summary that total fees is what you are seeing in the seat matrix is tuition plus other fees there will be extra fees which we should be ready to pay in college which is skill lab fees and the university fees which will be directly collected by college themselves and the last is that free fee adjustments between the two rounds or three rounds happens automatically you don't have to do anything from your side it happens automatically if you change your seat in later rounds hope this is very much clear that's all i have to cover in this video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates on comet 2025 counseling process